All right, I don't see the lights of New York. Oh, gosh! We've we've been struck. Okay, um, we've either hit a mine or been struck by a torpedo, and we are going down. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back in Tiny Sailor's World, and today we're taking a look at some more ships. So, yeah, guys, let's get into the video. And here we are in Southampton, and today we're going to be looking at the Andrea Doria, and the Queen Elizabeth. So yeah, let's go ahead and spawn in the Andrea Doria. All right, and here we have the Andrea Doria from the Italian line. And there is a ship sinking in the distance there. Sadly, it's just gone down. And uh, that's probably going to be the fate of this ship uh, that we are sailing right here because it was the fate of the Andrea Doria. It did sink and it was a uh, collision that actually sunk the ship as most of you know with the Stockholm. It actually crashed right into the side because of heavy fog and miscommunication and misdirection and uh, it was really just a big mess that caused the actual collision. And I'll have a link in the top right corner to Bright Sun Films video on the Andrea Doria because it is really nice. Now we are going to be sailing this ship to New York just like they did in real life and as you can see we are heading towards New York and uh, there we go. We should be just lined up. I just got to turn a little bit to this side. We also got to watch out for mines as well and um, it looks like the game is lagging just a little bit so the ship kind of drifts a little bit when we turn but uh, hopefully that won't impede our voyage. But uh, yeah, we are going to be sailing and hopefully not running into anything. Or we'll hope that nothing runs into us. If it does, it'll be pretty historically accurate. But uh, it won't be fun for our passengers. And this ship is a very beautiful looking one. I mean, anything that has come from the Italian line looks really sleek and stylish. And it just looks speedy. Now, the problems with the Andrea Doria were stability. The ship was not really stable in heavy seas, so it rocked from side to side, which was a factor in the sinking when it collided into the side of the ship and flooded multiple compartments and the ballast tanks, which caused the ship to lean over so far that they couldn't even launch the lifeboats on the one side that was out of the water, which was the port side. But we are out of Southampton, and we're going to be doing an overnight cruise to New York, or an overnight voyage to New York, I should say, because we're not really cruising, we're crossing a main ocean, so it is an ocean liner, so we are doing a voyage, but it's going to be a nice overnight voyage to New York, and uh, let's just hope nothing goes wrong. Now looking on the decks, we have lots of passenger and crew just roaming about. We have lifeboats, we have deck chairs, all the little things that you'd find on a Tiny Sailor's World ship. And we've even got some promenade spaces back here as well, which is always really nice to see. And uh, I'm glad that that's not closed off or anything. You can actually see people walking in it as well. And it uh, looks like we're passing through the ice fields here. So we've made it through the first minefield. But we have to go through these ice fields. And then we'll actually have to cross through another minefield after this. And um, actually, we might pretty much get into New York uh, earlier than expected. I think we might get into New York before sunrise. All right, and we are out of the ice fields. There we go. And uh, yeah, you can see that large uh, structure there. Really don't know what that is. If anyone in the comments wants to tell me what this is, I know it's some form of island, but um, it doesn't look like the uh, regular islands you'd see in Tiny Sailor's World. I mean, we've passed it a few times, but I haven't really questioned it too much. Now, the two things we need to worry about now, mines and torpedoes. Actually, once we get past these islands, I think we'll be good because uh, the submarines like to lurk around here uh, where we can't really see them or maneuver away from the uh, torpedoes until it's too late. And also, the mines are kind of impossible to see right now because you can't see them underwater and you can't see them above water. So, yeah. All right, there's a torpedo right there. And luckily, we have passed it without being uh, shot by it. So... That was very good. Hopefully, we don't see any more torpedoes around here. Now, one other thing that we need to watch out for is tsunamis. Around this area is where I got struck by a tsunami while I was sailing the SS City of New York. And, um, yeah, it didn't go so well. Same thing happened in Stormworks, except there wasn't a tsunami and it was just a big storm. But, luckily, we didn't fully capsize while we were sailing the SS City of New York in Stormworks. But, uh, oh my gosh, okay, yep, we've just struck a mine. Okay, so closing the watertight doors and starting the pumping of the ship, pumping out the water from the ship. And uh, luckily, we are not doomed. Oh, wow, okay. Holy cow. All right, we are good. We're just going to limp into port. 
Um, and, and I think everything should be fine. We are in the green, so that is good. Uh, but we have lost about a quarter of our health here. All right, I don't see the lights of New York. Oh, gosh! We've, we've been struck. Okay, um, we've either hit a mine or been struck by a torpedo, and we are going down. Our lifeboats are lowering away here. Uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope, uh, everyone can get off safely. But that was a big explosion there. All right, yeah, we are going down very quick. Luckily, our lifeboats are getting off the ship. The propellers are already out of the water, and the power is dying. It's going on and off, on and off, which means the water is definitely flooding the generator or the engine room at this point. Uh, we were struck at the bow of the ship. I believe it was on the starboard side. And, uh, yeah, we are done for. We probably struck a mine, but there goes the bridge, and I am hopping off the ship. And I'm just gonna watch the ship sink. There's nothing we can do. The Italian ocean liner Andrea Doria is going down once again. Um, sinking due to a mine this time, not being struck by a, uh, a ship. But um, here we go, it is uh, going down very quickly and a very dramatic scene is playing out here. Just going vertical, its funnel has just collapsed and it is going full on Titanic. Hopefully everyone has gotten off safely. There's a lot of lifeboats around but the ship is going down just out of sight of New York here. And uh, there it goes, it is going vertical at this stage. Alright, you can see it's starting to get a little lighter out here, and it's revealing a little bit of the scene that we're seeing here, which is just absolute chaos and destruction. Lifeboats all around, the ship going pretty much at this stage completely vertical, and uh, just sticking out of the water. And look at this, the Disney Dream is approaching here uh, to rescue some of the uh, passengers and survivors of the Andrea Doria. And you can see just the stern of the ship is out of the water, and the entire scene is being lit up by the uh, the ship here, the Disney Dream. And all the lifeboats are just directly heading towards the Disney Dream to be rescued. And here is the sunrise as the very fantail of the Androidoria slips under here. It's just pausing, and there it goes. The nameplate is the only thing really out of the water here, as well as the Italian flag. And the flagpole is gone. And the Android area heads to the bottom. And, uh, yep, luckily the Disney Dream is here uh, to rescue the passengers. But let's go ahead and take a look at the wreck of the Android area. And it's about to strike bottom, and there it goes. And there it goes, the Android Doria has hit the bottom. And that is it. So let's go ahead and move on to the Queen Elizabeth. And here we have the Queen Elizabeth from the Cunard line. And this is a beautiful ocean liner. And sadly, it did catch fire after it was turned into a university. Yes, you heard that right. It was turned into a university. So the ship was basically somewhat gutted. And then uh, it was being renovated when it caught fire. And uh, sadly, capsized a little bit and sank. And uh, then it was eventually buried over when they built a... Uh, a new dock there but as you can see it is beautifully represented in tiny sailors world now looking at the decks of this vessel there's not too too much detail and i think that's because this is an older ship uh from before the large update that came out and um yeah so uh, it would be nice to see a re-upload of this ship with more detail but it still looks fantastic in tiny sailors world and we will be sailing to where is um oh they're all behind me all the ports are behind me but i would like to sail let's go ahead let's sail to manila and we're gonna have to go ahead and basically go around southampton and then uh, just head out of the channel that way. So, uh, yeah, we'll be around the island in no time. Now, our top speed here is 28 knots, so that is pretty fast, and we are now entering the minefield. So, uh, we better look out because it's going to be a little dangerous from here on. We don't want to end up like the Andrea Doria earlier, where we, uh, struck a few or were struck by a torpedo and sank. Looking at the side view of the ship, it is once again, oh, wow! Okay, that's what happens when you don't look at what you're doing. Let's uh, start the pumping. Let's close the watertight doors. Okay, um, that was not good. That was not good. Um, uh, I was about to start talking about how beautiful the ship looked. And we're going down. This is it. Wow. Once again, striking two mines and going down. And, uh, you know what? I'm abandoning the ship. Well, um, that is very unfortunate. As you can see, it is rapidly plunging under. The funnels are going under, and uh, they're collapsing, and, uh, yep, it's gone. 
Very quick sink. Only uh, four lifeboats got away. But as you can see, the wreck is lying upright, but completely destroyed. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.